Isn't this the most joyous, joyous image? And it is Joanna Lumley, caught in Regent's Park, London, May 1970, by Patrick Earl of Litchfield. His book is called Perceptions, and it's a £30 first edition, which bibliophilebooks.com is selling for just £10. And you can see they're all full page, mono and colour, glorious, glorious images, very much of their time. That's Talitha Getty in Marrakesh, January 1969. And here's all the fashion from the late 60s and 70s. That's Valentino at the Savoy Hotel, 1968. Cecil Beaton, same year, up on a stepladder. They're really iconic images, just page after page. Jean Shrimpton, very thoughtful, sitting in a field at Shugborough Hall. Joanna Lumley, again, 1965. Jill Kennington, with a Cooper Formula Junior racing car. An Yves Saint Laurent fashion shoot. Grace Coddington with little directions in Marlowe. Angelica Houston, 1968. I think he was busy that year. Paula Patty and Jenny Boyd. Yeah, amazing women, heartbreakers. Kate Bush. Yves Saint Laurent in Marrakesh in 1969. There's plenty of the Queen at ease and self and self conscious, relaxing with her beloved dogs, Mick and Bianca Jagger, their rock star wedding. And he is at work, Patrick Litchfield. Outside the Bieber boutique in Knightsbridge, wearing one of the Barbara Huliniki iconic little dresses. This is page after page of fantastic, 224 pages. Very much of the period. James Coburn on set of Duffy. Brian Ferry in Hyde Park. Dean Martin at home in California. Page after page, it's a really tremendous background to his talent. Jacqueline Bissett, Susanna York, Ian McKellen in October 1969, Sir Norman Foster. <laughs> Style class, it really documents with conspicuous success that he's had for more than 40 years. both with the royal family and Princess Diana, of course, rock stars and Hollywood people. He's an acute observer of the world around him. <laughs> That's the Duchess of Windsor and Mrs Aileen Plunkett wearing exactly the same chiffon she dress in June 1966. Oh, it's Viscount Lindley when he was a little boy. That's his, his, his son. Isn't this lovely? The Queen at Balmoral. With the dog, it's September 1971. I'm tending one of her horses. Look, relaxed and beautiful. State opening of Parliament, November 1971. And there's our lovely Duke of Edinburgh, one of our great customers who gave bibliophile books a royal warrant for book selling. And we still sell to the royal family now, of course. Beautiful, beautiful book. Can't recommend this highly enough. It's called Patrick Litchfield Perceptions. It's just £10 through Bibli 